back to another special edition of the Turnbuckle Pad. I have with me a very special guest I think you may know. Say hello to Mr. 450 Hammett. Poppy, you have to stop. <laughs> you got to speak English for me, buddy. <laughs> good, How you good. been, Hammett? I've been great, man, actually. Just keeping busy, you know how it is. You know, wrestling every weekend, you know, doing my thing. Same old, same old. So What's you up? got a new belt under your uh, waist now, huh? I actually got two. <laughs> I got two. I retired the NWA Lucha Chicago All Pro Champion. They closed the company. I'm obviously still the champion, but the company closed. Um, current Dreamwave Wrestling alterna uh, Alternative Champion, and I am the Chicago Style Wrestling Metro Division Champion, which I've been holding now for three months now, I believe. So. Nice. Good. Well, fans, you know, get to watch you and see you perform and watch you entertain. But let's give them a little bit more about you. How long have you been in the business? Well, right now, um, actually, February it was my eighth year in the business. Um, I started when I was 15. I'm 24 now. I just turned 24, actually. So I've been doing it for eight years now. And, you know, it feels great, you know. Like, I'm still a young guy, but I'm considered a bet amongst the, the talent, you know. So that's good. And it feels great that I'm able to, at such a young age, you know, be able to give a little bit of my knowledge to the newer guys that are coming up. So that feels really good. How does it feel now compared to the way it was when you first got in the business? Well, it feels like the tables are turned, you know, like before when I started, I was the guy asking asking for advice. Don't get me wrong, I still ask for advice, you know, because obviously we learn something new every day. And uh, But it feels good to share that little piece of my knowledge, you know, whatever, whatever little bit I know, you know, I like to share with the new talent, you know, like Matt Nix, Kenny Sutra, all these guys coming up, you know. Matt to um, Colin Cambridge, you know, all these guys uh, that are breaking out in the Chicago wrestling scene. Um, I want to help them out, you know, because uh, when I started wrestling, I, I really didn't have somebody give me the helping hand, you know. I had to, like, scrawl and crawl my way through the rankings and crawl my way through every company and climb my way to the top by myself without kissing no ass, without having nobody's last name, no daddy's last name to help me out, you know. It was all by myself, you know. I came here to the States, you know, and I did it by myself in the last three years. I made a name for myself with hard work, no ass kissing, none of that, you know, and I want to be able to be the guy that helps these people out, you know, because when I started, I didn't have anybody there for me, and I, and I think that everybody should have that helping hand, you know, because you don't learn on your own, you know, so it feels really good to just be able to help these new guys, you know, that are coming out. Well, one question we ask everyone, and this is a new one we're asking. If you could have any kind of match with anyone, who would it be and what kind of match would you want? <clears throat> well, that's a tough one. Um, there's so many wrestlers out there that I would love to work. I mean, but as far as like, I've always said this and I mean, I hope it happens. You know, you never know. Life, life is crazy. It takes crazy turns, but... I would really love to work Kurt Angle just in a, any type of match, you know, because to me he's like one of the, the definition of a workhorse, you know, one of the best talented pure athletes out there, you know. He's the guy that could out-wrestle anybody in this world, you know. So to me he's one of the really, really good, talented, solid wrestlers out there that, that I've been watching since, since I was, you know, 12 and stuff like that. Since I'm not 12, since I was really young, you know. And uh, Kurt Angle, you know, I've seen him since he started his career, you know, and and I really respect his work and I respect I respect his worth ethic, you know. So I would really love and and, and I will enjoy to just work that guy because I know I know that he's the type of person that he could get a good match out of anybody, you know. And I think that we we could tear it up definitely, you know. And that would be that would be like it's hard to pick a person, but that would be my main guy. To have a match, you know. Other than that, with Shawn Michaels, but that's never gonna happen, obviously. Um, but yeah, Kurt Angle, Kurt Angle. Well, before we wrap this up, Hammett, what kind of advice would you give to someone new or someone who wants to get into the business? Um, never take no for an answer. Don't let anybody tell you you can't do something because you can. You know, you can't do anything you put your mind to, cause will is everything. As long as you have the power of will, as long as you're willing to, to do what you got to do to make it in this business, if you have that passion and that motivation and you're determined to make something happen, make it happen because nobody can tell you you can't, you know. Dreams are dreams, you know. You could dream big or you could be the guy that dreams and never, do, and not, never did anything with it, you know. I am the type of person that I encourage the people that are dreamers, you know, because 
the dreamers are our future you know like whatever whatever you want to do in life if it's if it's working at McDonald's if it's be a pro wrestler be the best you can be at whatever you're gonna do because you know in this world there's gonna be a lot of people that are gonna try to put you down and there's gonna be a lot of people that are not gonna have your back and there's gonna be a lot of people that are gonna say hey you can't do this or you're too small you ain't big enough you know you're too old you know you're too young you know you're short you're this and that you know nobody in this world can take that from you that's your dream go for it chase it and do what you gotta do to make it happen that's what I think I came all the way from Puerto Rico on my own I had no family here in the States I don't know I, I didn't know anybody and I came here on my own and I've been here three years you know standing my ground you know and and trying to make it you know trying to get my name out there and you know it's going pretty good so far so you know if I could do it if I could do it anybody can't you know cuz I, re I came with really nothing to the States you know and I'm trying to make it happen you know so never give up never give up you know I'm not stealing John Cena's cash phrases but never give up that's the attitude you gotta have never quit never stop if you have a dream chase it because you never know when life is gonna be up and then it's gonna be too late Fans, you heard golden words from Mr. 450 Hammett. 50, we thank you so much, man. Thank you, Mike. Fans, stay tuned for more. Peace. Adios.